Danskog pisca Martinusa, koji je prije 35 godina umrno u dubokoj starosti, može se jednako zvati filozofom i mistikom. U svojim dijelima dao je koncizan i sveobuhvatan opis svijeta u kojem se dohvaćaju i najdubljih pitanja našeg postojanja. Martinus se prije svega oslanio na intuiciju, težeći razumijevanju i analizi onog što je smatrao duhovnim svijetom koji se nalazi u pozadini našeg fizičkog svijeta. Cilj mu je bio stvoriti duhovnu znanost koja može suvremenom, logički usmjerenom tragatelju za istinom dati dublji uvid u prirodu svijeta. Taj je pogled daleko optimistični i sveobuhvatniji od onog običajenog stvorenog našim navikama. Martinus je stvorio nereligijsku kozmobiologiju u kojoj je težio ponuditi logičko razumijevanje svijeta i njegove religijske dimenzije. Tog ćemo čovjeka s ruba koji spaja logiku i intuiciju večeras upoznati i ovdje, na rubu znanosti. Dobro večer. Daniel Opačić čovjek je bogate životne biografije, između ostalog i magistar građevinarstva i magistar međunarodnog menadžmenta, tek doktor, doktor kozmologije, a doktorirao je na sveučilištu Atlantik u SAD-u. Također međunarodni predavač teme koji izačava već najmanje dva desetljeća, a to je kozmologija Martinusa Danca, koji bi bilo neprecizno pisati filozofom ili mistikom, pa ćemo ga zadati za ovu priliku intuitivnom znanstvenikom. Dobro večer. Dobro večer. Good evening. Da. Za početak... Ko je Martinus uopće? On nije toliko poznat širokoj javnosti, on je na neki način o, jedna vrlo, o, kako bi se rekla, o, razrađena kozmologija koju, o, koja je primjerena ljudima koji doista žele o, nekakvu čistu esenciju bez puno balasta kulturoloških, religijskih i drugih. Pa možda možemo krenuti od toga uopće kad je on živio o, i koja je u biti njegova nekakva vizija svijeta. Ok. Uh, Martinus Thompson is a Danish born man. Uh, until age of 30 he was uh, just the average man, working class, no education, uh, a little bit interested in theosophy and in Bible. But in uh, 1921, in March during the Easter, he experienced an uh, incompre- incomprehensible expansion of consciousness. And it, it, afterwards, it gave, gave him uh, insight into the structure of the universe. Uh, for your viewers to understand what happened, it's that he could ask any question, any question, and could get uh, intuitively in his mental screen or in consciousness uh, highly qualified, the highest answer. So... Uh, For him, big question of life was uh, like, like peanuts. It's very easy to get. Uh, next 60 years of his life, he spent uh, uh, producing 9,000 pages of the high intuitive quality material that will be a platform for moral, scientific and uh, educational development of humankind. humankind. Now you have people that have... Uh, are exceptionally creative or inquisitive minds, and they are somehow sticking to Martinus like bees going to the honey. No more than 400 people in this globe are deeply interested in something that you can call the theory of everything in existence. It's really key, no keyhole, the key into the life, and uh, simply you, you develop tremendous passion to something that is real, true knowledge. So what is cosmology? Uh, when you look at vocabularies, there is uh, some two wrong definitions. It's a branch of astrophysics that deals, deals with the uh, origin, uh, structure, and evolution uh, of the universe. Uh, also, you can call it metaphysical science, but it means metaphysical, but something highly abstract, uh, overtly theoretical, so not easy to access by senses. Uh, and cosmos itself, this from all Greek world, uh, uh, meaning the orderly, not disorderly, orderly uh, universe. So it's opposite of the chaos. Uh, what's wrong with the definition is the origin. Origin doesn't exist. If you have origin, you have termination. 
So you cannot have uh, semi-eternity. Uh, according to Martinus, the uh, uh, universe is uh, eternal. Life just exists. It's something that it is. So it's no end. And um, why so? Just exists. Za sad ćemo se mora zadovoljiti i tim odgovorom. Yeah. Koja je razlika između današnje uh, ljudske, da tako kažemo, uh, znanosti i one koje je Martinus nazvao uh, duhovnom znanosti? Ok, let's first uh, just because of the viewers to define what it means, the science in a, in a standard traditional way. It's a documentation of the facts. These facts could, could be collected by, uh, I don't know, observation, uh, using senses of... Uh, measurement, uh, something that is not easily accessible can be obtained uh, in a theoretical way. And uh, that must be reproducible, it must be confirmed and verified independently. So uh, Martinus science is science based on intuition. Man-made science is science based on uh, intelligence. Uh, they have commonality in uh, two postulates. One is the law of uh, cause and effect, and another is postulate that the sum of all energies is constant, meaning eternal. It's kind of a law of thermodynamics valid for the closed system. And commonality stops here, because the uh, Martinus uh, cosmology, or, sp- or the spiritual science, as he called it, uh, always look for the purpose for the, and uh, wherever you have movement, you have plan and purpose, and wherever you have plan and purpose, you have consciousness. And wherever you have consciousness, this is sign of life, sign of the source. Uh, the man-made signs, uh, for them everything is, uh, or most of things, are random. Uh, So coming by chance, they introduce so-called emergency theory, spontaneity. They, they cannot explain how uh, from a dead matter suddenly, suddenly you, you have uh, organic matter. Uh, also, it's very dubious explanation of the origin of our part of the universe, this Big Bang. Martinus call it like uh, it's a local phenomena, nothing special about it. Like if you, if you would be a Uh, super micro dust of the speck in the lungs, your own lungs, and you would look at, it's like uh, you look the clear uh, night sky, there's the same picture, and you will see all the time uh, inflation, meaning you uh, inhale the air, and you are in expansion phase. So part of the cycles, one of the many. The universe is built on, a, on a endless cycles, in a, in a spiral way, uh, upwards and onwards. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Martinus deals with both eternal and uh, temporal phenomena. The man-made science uh, is in big confusion what is what, and uh, they have very, again, uh, very unscientific approach to temporal phenomena. And then you have uh, one religious movement, especially strong in America. It's called uh, 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 creationist or uh, intellectual design. And they are somehow, in some elements, using the elements of science, uh, are simply negating uh, Darwinism and many other things, uh, saying that's impossible. But they have problem exp- explaining, uh, again, the origin of the universe, uh, uh, saying that uh, it's... it's uh, let's say, overnight delivery by God mm-hmm. and stopping there. Martinus explained everything. Kako se unutar Martinusove kozmolo- kozmologije radi ili ne radi razlike između onog što iskustveno doživljavamo kao živu ili neživu tvar? Uh, that's a big question of uh, life that uh, traditional science didn't give the answer. Okay, For the viewers, it will be very hard to, to imagine that, let's say, trade unions are uh, matter. How? Uh, you have the cluster of the eyes, how is creation called, the yastvo, that are gathered together around some idea. Until this idea 
is glue for them, they will stay together. Once there is a resolution, they will fall apart. So if you would have people on the streets or football fans, they're in their action, they make violence in the street, and when you would zoom out, you will see them as a matter. So uh, it's a question of mental perspective. If you zoom out, you'll see everything as a matter. When you zoom in, you will see individual units. Basically, uh, a difference between uh, inorganic and organic matter, lifeless and a life matter is in three elements. One is individualization. You see some vigorous movement in a, a life matter. Second is uh, uh, reproduction. And third is the aging, which doesn't start immediately after creation. So like us, we are born, uh, we oppose the nature, resistance of the, uh, let's say, uh, truth of time. And in one moment we reach culmination and then uh, uh, we go in a, in a second part of the cycle. The first was construction, the second is uh, decomposition or dissolution. So we go to the end of our life, physical life. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, that's the basic difference between these two kinds of matter. When Martinus talks about the world of the world, nije to nova ideja u povijesti ljudskog roda da je svemri vječan i slično. Što je tu esencijalno novo? Ok, um, Martinus brought uh, many new things. Uh, one of them is where we are in an evolutionary ascending path. He gives us through ex cosmic uh, analysis and explanations exactly where we are in any given moment and why. Uh, second thing is uh, uh, there is, I don't know, 40, 50, even more laws and principles that govern the life and uh, makes the universe sustainable. Any uh, uh, cosmologist, spiritual cosmologist, must learn all of it in order to get the clear idea about uh, any outer phenomena and to understand it deep. Otherwise, uh, it would be impossible. I will just mention a few laws. Uh, laws of cause and effect. Law of attraction and uh, repulsion of uh, matter. Uh, law of uh, hunger and satiation. Uh, primordial desire. Uh, law of repetition. Uh, par parenthood principle. And so on. Many. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is pretty tricky scientific business to have it all in your heads like multidimensional matrix. But once you, are, you learn about it, it's easy. Uh, Martinus made this highly abstract material in a very accessible, uh, intellectually accessible forms for the students, us. Which, uh, da, on je u stvari uh, htio ono što je prije bilo u domeni iracionalnog na neki način ispričati jezikom logike. Exactly. To je bilo njegova namjera. E, tako da kada se susrećemo sa pojmovima, svakog bi trebalo nanovo definirati i redefinirati da vidimo što je zapravo Martinus imao u vidu kad je koristio ono što mi zapravo naz nazivimo određenim riječima. Primjerice, e, kozmička kemija. Naravno, kada se danas kaže kozmička kemija, svakom se čini da mu je jasno o čemu se radi. Možemo povezati svemir i kemiju i pričati o načinu kako su stavljeni planeti, eventualno spore po svemiru i sl. Ono što je Martinus imao u vidu kada je upotrebio taj izraz kozmih kemistri ili kozmička kemija? Okay, this is something the, uh, of course part of the, of the spiritual science, but deals with uh, uh, mental substances. For instance, you have some rocket scientists does military hardware and in one moment his life uh, partner is uh, saying goodbye to him or one of his parents is dead. His uh, mathematical formulas won't help him to resolve his uh, current mental situation. So behind uh, uh, physical chemistry, if we uh, put together the wrong chemicals, we can produce some undesirable effect. And we are fully aware or conscious about the physical chemistry in our life, but not at all conscious about uh, 
cosmic chemistry. Basically, it means that you don't create your own stormy mental climates in your consciousness. If you do, uh, you obviously go against the cosmic laws, which will have repercussions. Why? Because uh, a mosquito or insect, what mosquito can do in a in a uh, in a eye of the storm? Uh, what we do when we have uh, uh, undesired uh, food in our stomach? There are two ways uh, getting mm-hmm. rid of it. So uh, the planet Earth also will get rid of us mm-hmm. if we do a major violation of the, of the cosmic laws. Mm-hmm. So uh, basically the cosmic chemistry is process of cultivation of man consciousness in order to create in each and every moment in his life the better future because through our uh, thoughts and action we create the future as we live now uh, our past uh, thoughts and actions so that's how it works prije nego što se pozabavimo uh, više kako bismo rekli uh, uplivom te Mar- Martinosove Uh, kozmologije i njenom upotrebom u svakodnevnom životu, mogli bi još ostati kod nekih uh, pojmova koji se ovako uh, malo uh, više zvuče tehnički. Primjerice, on je spominjao elektricitet kao četvrto stanje tvari. Bilo bi zanimljivo čuti što je Martinu svidio u elektricitetu i zbog čega ga je nazvao četvrtim stanjem tvari i na kraju krajeva pridao mu je posebnu važnost. It's a very tough question, a big question of life. Uh, we assume electricity. We have it everywhere, even in our, our body. We have uh, Wi-Fi radio mm-hmm. waves. We have car and trains now. Tesla is uh, famous in America. Mm-hmm. By the way, uh, American genius and Croatian-born Tesla, he said that uh, electricity is uh, filling empty, empty space. Mm-hmm. Some people, I don't know if it's an authentic statement or not, but say that it's uh, God's consciousness. It's a little bit uh, overstatement, but anyway. So, uh, what is electricity? Uh, the only person, as far as I know, was Martinus that explained it. Mm-hmm. Um, but I have to make a small introduction. Uh, this spiral life, you can cut it at two, and that we would call uh, as one phase, one unit, you can call uh, uh, life spiral segment. This segment is consists uh, in a time wise in eons of time. Uh, this is wholeness, but it's divided in uh, let's say six zones or, or planes of existence according to energy which dominate in each uh, of these zones. Uh, there are basically uh, two elements. One is uh, involution into physical matter and one is evolution from the physical matter. When uh, you spent billions of years in light, in an electromagnetic field, then you start to, to make longing for the, uh, going back into physical life. That's natural. If you are too much exposed to the sun, you, you long for the shadow. If you are uh, with a partner that you have fallen in love, uh, in one moment you... You separate, you depart, because it's not any more inspiration. So the same thing happens in the nature. It's cosmic law. So beings that are for long in the spiritual world, they start to long to come back to the physical world, and they create a tremendous uh, f- mental force. That force connects with the uh, basic unintellectual energies of the universe, which is instinct, and the uh, so-called energy of expansion. That creates electricity. So that's explanation for the electricity. Electricity is basic building material for material world and spiritual world because our, our, our thoughts are made of the material that it's uh, seven zones uh, more down from the level of molecules. We have level of molecules, cells, organs, us. So it's ten levels down from us. But it's again material. It's invisible. It's, uh, as you said, uh, fourth uh, state of, of matter, but it is material. So it's building material of the universe is electricity. But 
when electricity meets another energy, an energy of cooling or energy of uh, contraction of the universe, then you get matter. You get first uh, fiery clouds, solar energy, and then with the more influence of that energy of contraction, of cooling, you, you go into a um, gaseous state, liquid state, and solidified state. But again, all this is illusion, because uh, what we see as a solid is just a tremendous high speed of uh, electron and uh, atomic and subatomic particles that are moving, and they create like a movie. Mm-hmm. You have 16 or 24 frames, and you get the uh, impression that something is moving. The same thing with our bodies. If you will go deep into the structure of the diamond or uh, Kevlar or anything, you also have basically uh, small particles and enormous distance, which we call the empty space, and some even smaller particles going in some logical orbits. The same thing as you see in a, in a night sky. So basically, if you would apply a mathematical function, the uh, universe is empty. That empty space is filled out by electricity, is omnipresent, invisible for us. Kada uh, pričamo o uh, tim poznatim izrazima koji imaju neko dodatno značenje, jedno od njih je i neka vrsta tronog načela, rekao bih. Što iz, uh, je iz Martinusove uh, vizije, perspektive, spoznaja uh, bilo to trojno načelo. Yeah, it's one of the pillars of Martinus cosmology. It's extremely important point in the cosmic analysis. Each living being consists of the eye, which is, which is the innermost sense of uh, our individuality or our identity. That's the reason why we say I read, uh, I present, uh, I sleep, mm-hmm. I. But then uh, another element is uh, creative ability to attract and repulse. And the third element is uh, created. What is created, what is temporal, is our body and our consciousness. Two elements are eternal, I and uh, uh, creative power. No beginning, no end. So this is called triune principle of living being, and the same can be applied for the universe. But the universe is also a living being, but uh, uh, it's needed another aspect to put in the picture. That another aspect is uh, life within life principle. What it means? It means that each living being is at the same time uh, dependable and indispensable for the, its master being. In our case, it's uh, Earth. And at the same time, its master being, that it's... Uh, uh, makes the living space for myriads of the uh, beings in the micro world, which are dependable and indispensable for him. Mm-hmm. A simple example, uh, the thirst or hunger impulse, it's crying from the micro world that something has to be done. To the uh, micro being, which is I, we are the master. We make decision uh, when, what, to eat and what kind of food to combine in order to make harmony or chaos. So all universe is in that way interconnected. Uh, go ahead. Uh, kako je uh, Martinus vidio svrhu, da tako kažemo, čovečanstva, uopće njegova postojanja ili njegovih stremljenja ili nekih ciljeva kojima bi se čovečanstvo ako uopće trebalo težiti ili se transformirati ili mijenjati Of course, uh, uh, to ipak za nas središnje pitanje. Yeah, having mm-hmm. into consideration that there is law of cause and effect, of course, everything is in one process. Uh, as we are all aware, we live in a, something that Martinus put in very, very strong terms, doomsday, and it started with the uh, First World War, and it last uh, next three or four hundred years. We are in the darkness of civilization. doesn't matter this technological gadgets or anything else uh, because the mentality is uh, could be described as a sphinx so it's uh, half animal half human being so the purpose of uh, our evolution is uh, uh, humanization of our i- intelligence and uh, uh, the same thing intellectualization of our feelings we, we both of them bring into the harmony in the highest, higher level 
then we open up our gateway for the receiving the most potent, most vibrant and high-quality energy, which is energy of intuition. Uh, so this process of going from unselfish into selfish state, the process of going transition uh, with, with many derailments, uh, many deviations, many meandering, would finish in a... a for each and every of us, like Martinus, to uh, regaining or renewal of the cosmic consciousness. At that point, which will be more or less in 3,000 years from now, when we mature uh, our mentality, when we humanize ourselves completely, then we uh, wouldn't have any more reason to reincarnate on this planet or anywhere else. We'll spend uh, uh, eons of time in a, in a real paradise because if you are uh, surrounded uh, first you are bodiless there is no resistance mm -hmm. and you can create in a split of second anything mm -hmm. just by your thoughts it is mm -hmm. Da, unaprijed se veselim uh, eonima provedenim u elektromagnetskoj juhi. Da. <laughs> Biće to zabavno. Uh, Martinos je također, naravno, sve ovo ne bilo smisla kad ne bi imalo nekih praktičnih uh, uh, savjeta ili naputaka za uh, ljudski život. Rekao je neke stvari koje danas uh, se često puta isto govore na razne načine se shvaćaju. Uh, jedna od tih ideja je bila i da čovjek mora na neki način napustiti udobnost čopora ili krda. To se na prvi pogled svakom individualcu, naravno, sviđa i slično. Kakva je bila Martinosova interpretacija i zbog čega je uopće to zaključio kao tako važno načelo? Uh, look, uh, we are in a, in a life sometimes, uh, sometimes criticizing why uh, our fellow neighbor is not different than he is. So everybody is in its optimum condition in a given moment. Cannot be better. So every, everyone that criticizes make uh, crucial mistakes. Uh, being in a flock of being in a herd is just a, a natural part of transition from uh, animal uh, mentality to uh, human mentality. So why people are part of the flock, why they are part of this mass suggestion, basically uh, manipulation, lying, something is uh, very low level in terms of moral intelligence, they have to be there. It is their natural condition, a natural position for the time being when they are still not, uh, uh, it's not possible for them naturally, organically, to, to develop as in individuals. So the process of individualization uh, uh, assumes saying goodbye to the flock. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's not easy. Uh, and uh, people are, uh, it's very, very hard sometimes to look in a mirror especially hard to look in the inner mirror, to, to face with all, all your own uh, mis, uh, misdoings, with your, own, with your real way of being. Mm -hmm. So people don't like it and uh, they, they stay with the flock because it's a place of less resistance. But that uh, as a result, uh, uh, there is complete and total stagnation of something we call uh, common sense. And without common sense and ratio, you cannot move forward. So the only way is to, to leave the flock. Mm -hmm. U svakom slučaju, to nas vodi do sljedećeg pitanja. A to pitanje ima veze sa savišću, na neki način možemo to nazvati grizodušijem i sl. Čime se također Martinus bavio pitanjem uzroka, posljedice, razloga i što to govori o svijetu i nama samima. E, na koji način je on e, zapravo došao do zaključka što u stvari uzrokuje e, grižnju savjesti i grizu duši ili takve e, slične, e, mislim, tu pojavu u, i doživlje čovjeka koji se opisuje na tako razne načine? To je great question and it's uh, something that is also uh, part of transition. We are not perfect, so we don't have perfect reactions in any given situation. Uh, if you have, if you eaten something that doesn't belong to the body, you have immediate reaction. This uh, reaction is a pain, and pain tells you that you did the wrong thing. So on a, a pain, on a, a, a level of body, it's kind of pangs of conscience. What is in the mental sphere? Pangs of conscience is something which we uh, 
feel as a guilty conscience because uh, it's below our moral standard. So when we do something uh, that we don't accept and it's, we are dissatisfied with uh, our own uh, misdoings, uh, how that can be resolved? But through repent, through uh, apology. So um, that's uh, a, a, a restoration of the mental balance. Mm-hmm. So, uh, mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Yeah, you, you, you had here in, uh, recently the wars, and uh, people are wondering why some that committed terrible war crimes um, are... Uh, they don't feel any inner turmoil. You cannot see any, any sign of uh, compassion, humility. And uh, simply they are young souls. Mm-hmm. They're too undeveloped, let's put it that way, so that they cannot have it. Animals don't have it, because in the animal world, the, the condition of living is to kill it. Also, primitive people don't have it. Mm-hmm. Also... People that uh, develop full cosmic consciousness, they don't have it because they're not capable of carrying out acts that will produce guilty consciousness. So it's, uh, again, works perfectly if you analyze the right way. Očigledno da je dio Martinusovog svjetonazora i kozmologije bila i reinkarnacija. Na koji način ju je on vidio? Danas smo do sad svjedočili raznim tumačenjima Uh, akcije, reakcije, kazne, ne kazne, prenošenja percepcije i slično. Na koji način je Martinus vidio reinkarnaciju koju je očigledno smatrao jednim logičkim krugom ako pričamo o nečemu što se na neki način iz energije prostora zgušnjava i materializira pa se potom vraća natrag. No, gdje smo tu mi? I što se tu s nama zbiva? I možemo li to malo ubrzati? It's very interesting. He gave one example. He said if you If you don't believe in reincarnation, you don't believe that sun is shining over other continents, continents when you sleep. Mm. <laughs> so uh, it's something extremely logical for a logical mind. It's part of the cycles, like uh, work and rest. It's, in fact, it's uh, uh, extended cycles uh, of, uh, of the day and night. You work during the day, you go to sleep, mm. and uh, your consciousness leaves your body. Exactly the same happens during the, during the reincarnation. You spend a little bit longer period of time in the spiritual sphere and you come back. Why you are coming back? That's the crucial question. Dobro pitanje. <laughs> yeah, that's the crucial question. Because uh, that's the only place where uh, your misdoings uh, show you the consequences which is pain and suffering. So basically the role of uh, reincarnation is to... Uh, Again, the cultivate to emancipate your mentality, to see the cause and the effect. What your misdoings produce to you and to other fellow beings, to the environment, if produce good things, so you can continue. If not, then you have to correct. Otherwise, the universe would correct. Mm-hmm. And the uh, principle of reincarnation also assumes that... Uh, you are uh, not changing your, your sex, uh, as some Eastern religions state. Uh, you stay the same all the time. So the sex is changed only after uh, eons of time passed, and it's regulated for some, with something else. It's called sexual principle. Uh, this principle <coughs> regulates the, the uh, pulsation within this huge face of the, of the universe. Dobro, kad smo već spomenuli okay. seksualni princip, što bi on značio unutar Martinusove kozmobiologije? Okay, it's a deeper explanation, but I would just focus on something that it's of human interest. Each of us, each living being, has two poles, masculine and feminine. During the uh, most part of this long Uh, uh, evolutionary part of uh, cosmic uh, evolution, these two poles are equal. But in animal zone, uh, each of us has one dominant pole and one is in dormant or uh, latent stage. And uh, that, uh, ment- that uh, regulates our mentality and our attraction to the opposite pole, which we miss. Uh, in the future, we are, uh, um, it's a process of awakening of that secondary pole, 
and in a couple of thousand years it will be not males and not females, it will be third sex or third pole, meaning in mentality uh, these two poles will uh, equalize. Just to, to explain for, to the viewers to understand better. Now, when you have one pole beings, you have basically interest around three functions, which is family, how to bring the food and take care of the orphans, and reproduction. Uh, the second pole that is in awakening is any kind of interest in any other field. So it's in fact intellectual pole. And we have uh, something is also very controversial. It's a question of homosexuality, if I can mm -hmm. uh, touch it. In, uh, yeah, this is a very important question, but why not? Especially in the context of the fact that there is already a tendency to the breaking of the pole kroz razne uh, riječi slično uh, roditelj 1, roditelj 2 što naravno nekako isključuje tradicionalne poglede otac majka no na neki način to nalikuje ovoj ja, Martinu ovoj viziji a možda se na neki način i razlikuje kako vi to vidite Yes, uh, I'll, I'll try to explain just in a few sentences uh, Everybody will go through that phase in a short period, briefly, short period of time but not in a way how it's articulated today So it will be very discreet and it will be in very intellectualized uh, face, very intellectualized way expressed. What it means? When a person becomes aware of this second uh, sex or second pole in itself, uh, in the case of male, this is female, that pole becomes attracted to the male or man. Mm -hmm. It means that we, in fact, don't have uh, the... Uh, attraction of the same sex as many people state, but the opposite sex, which is uh, logical and uh, natural, like uh, electromagnetic poles, like anything else in the nature. What happens today is that we have premature opening of the second pole, which produces this uh, desire to be expressive and to show all uh, character traits, which are not uh, something that is... Uh, present in very developed men. You have to be discreet. And uh, you don't have to show uh, jealousy, envious, and all these, um, I would say, attributes of the one pole being state, which people that are fall in love and fall out of love produce. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, and why that happened? Because people either were abused in previous lives, sexual abuse, incest, or any other kind of abuse. So this is kind of, a, so to say, artificial opening with uh, uh, derailed characteristics of state of being, state of mind. Uh -huh. Martinov si također dao nekake, sa, neke savjete kako čovjek može izgra, izgraditi vlastiti karakter. Pa vjerujem da je mnogim ljudima zapravo prilična ideja gradnje vlastitog karaktera, ideja da budu bolji, da budu više u skladu sa sobom, sa okolinom, svemirom, prirodom. Koji su to, Martinusovi savjeti za gradnju karaktera? Okay, uh, da, budemo was, da budemo malo i praktični. Martinus was asked by many people, ok, I want to have better life, I want to be better towards the others and environment, so uh, I'm a little bit lost how, how to do it. So Martinus came out with a very short guidance uh, what someone should do in order to, to practically uh, develop this uh, mental yoga function in itself. That's something that it's, uh, uh, it requires engagement of the full mental engagement that becomes the uh, habitual consciousness or automatic function. So the first is to uh, remove the concept of enemy from your consciousness. Second is don't ever kill, uh, torture any li other living being, including animals. Uh, third, never speak ill of anybody else. Uh, fourth, uh, always speak truth in any situation in front of anyone. Be truthful to yourself. Uh, fifth, in the case that someone uh, praise you or criticize you, be indifferent, be in a distance. Sixth, always think. 
uh, how you can be in a service and benefits to other human beings. And there are a few more. One includes, for instance, the, uh, how we can train to look at other people, not to dislike them, not to, be, to, to develop uh, antipathy. It's to treat them as, uh, as uh, uh, plants and, uh, uh, and a summer shadow. So you have some plants with beautiful scent, beautiful looking, and you also have weeds. But we have a life, we have bandits, and we have Christ. Uh, not many, but we have some, mm -hmm. and anything in between. So try to, to look at uh, the other human beings as the plants. Mm -hmm. Also be forgiven. Never be tired of... Uh, Giving forgiveness. Živimo u vrijeme kada je primjetan porast državnog nadzora na svim razinama, kako unutar svake pojedine države, kroz elektronički nadzor, kroz silne zakone koje ograničavaju ili reguliraju ili hiper reguliraju svaku djelatnost ljudskog života, pa sve do globalnih cijelina koje su potom nadređene državama, pa imamo razne te velike međunarodne sporazume, nadnacionalne, Europsku uniju, naftu, transpacifičke, sad, pa transatlanske sporazume. I svi oni e, nas vode do pitanja e, uloge države koja je u ovom trenutku e, u punom smislu u riječi e, zapravo jedna vrst represivnog aparata koji je visoko birokratiziran i koji na neki način ne vodi se baš zdravim razumom, odnosno nastoji na neki način ugurati sve unutar zaradnih obrazaca, pa sad ti vidiš što ćeš unutar toga i kako ćeš se zvući. Kako je Martinus promišljao ulogu države, ako recimo zamišljamo da nam uopće države trebaju, ili možda da države imaju i potencijala da budu nešto što ide u dobro biti ljudi, a ne samo na neki način u, službu, u službi, ne znam, u današnje suvremeno vreme recimo korporativnih interesa. Bilo bi zanimljivo čuti jednu možda humanističku, razumnu ili svjetlu verziju onog što bi bila uloga države, a možda je zapravo Martinus se sigurno time bavio, ali što je zaključio? Uh, as we said, Martinus gave uh, our was in position to give a, a sub substantive answer on anything, including the role of the state. So what would be the role of the state uh, in our age and in the future? Uh, the first function is to protect uh, developed individuals from uh, torture and abuse of uh, uh, undeveloped. Uh, second is to locate in the earliest possible stage the talents and gifts in anyone, meaning that if person, if these talents are polished, the person will be in harmony with itself and uh, to be in a joy and benefits for the rest of the society. At the same time, you have a win-win situation. It's perfect for the society. Uh, third is make, by all means, uh, the ground for uh, cultural development according to new world impulse and intellectualization of the society. Fourth, we still have uh, states as uh, more or less behaving as bandits. So within a state you have law enforcement agencies, police, courts, public prosecutor, but uh, outside uh, UN is still very weak and uh, doesn't have reinforcement agencies. So uh, state must protect because some are less developed. The way to protect it is not militarism. Militarism brings war. Okay, war is something uh, very, uh, I would say, unpleasant good because during the accelerative period you have militarists that turns overnight into pacifists. So war is in a way good mm -hmm. from the cosmic point of view. But uh, uh, the smart states, I would say like Scandinavia right now, they solve the, the issue in a way to the peaceful means, to diplomacy. So uh, overall the role of state is uh, tremendously important because in Old Testament people delegated states to to create an uh, environment for their life. As we see, many states are defeated, failed. Politicians are generally incompetent. Uh, they, they simply occupy the place and position they don't deserve. And uh, if uh, any of politicians would follow this list of Martinus, he will make great thing for his own da, zato, zato danas mnogi ljudi i razmišljaju uopće o pitanju nadležnosti države nad njima. Ima li država uopće nadležnost nad njima, ako je oni nisu dali, s obzirom da ih nije država stvorila, znači nadležnost pripada nekom 
kot ili stvorio ili samom sebi i slično. I to su također eto, dio, dijelovi hladna suvremenog doba. E, Martinus je također rekao da ljudsko biće može prave odgovore naći samo u spiritualnom svijetu. Što je po time mislio? Look, uh, when you, uh, you were tired, you go to sleep, uh-huh. you are in the spiritual world. When you died, you also rest a prolonged period of time in the spiritual world. If you, uh, once you gain the cosmic consciousness, you don't return to, to, to the physical world for a very long time. So it is spiritual world. When you say, uh, what's the... Uh, the, the um, Two plus two, simple mathematical operation. It's in spiritual world. All mathematics is in spiritual world. When I say uh, this glass is beautiful, uh, I see this glass beautiful. Cosmologists would say, spiritual scientists would say, uh, I have a mental image of uh, uh, sensory perception of the glass that I find beautiful. A little bit rough, but correct statement. In other words, what we have We have subjective perception, projective perception of reality. Even the German philosopher Immanuel Kant in the 18th century realized that uh, sense thing and the thing itself is uh, different. So all this life, it's, uh, it's uh, our, uh, uh, how to say, illusionary perception. So I'll give you one example, and the ex- example of a space. We have bodies, we have this table, chairs, cameras, in this studio, and imagine for a moment that they don't exist. And what you get, you get a blank screen. Mm-hmm. So that's the proof that this is, everything is in our, people say, our mind, or I would say in our consciousness. So uh, we are, in fact, uh, physical beings, but we are much more spiritual beings. No, no. And in the future we will be... Evo i za kraj za ove zadnje dvije minute možda možete sažeti u jedno pitanje zbog čega se no, našeg ovog zemljskog čovjeka opisuje iz perspektive Martinusove kozmobiologije kao jednu kontroliranu eksploziju, znači eksploziju koja eto nije baš potpuno izvan kontrole i na kraju krajeva ukratko kako primijeniti te vječne zakone kako ih je Martinus nazvao za stvaranje individualne sreće. Ok, uh, constraint explosion it's uh, uh, one phase between two pendular movement phases. On one, one side we have a uh, uh, fiery, fiery cloud, and on the other side we have stillness, but not the absolute, absolute stillness. Absolute stillness is only I, within the I, where we have uh, all contrast uh, 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 nullifying each other, plus seven, minus seven, the war, peace, uh, hot, cold. Uh, so the life is illusion because uh, uh, it's... Uh, Uh, monitored through the mm, cosmic perspective principle. So, between these two movements, one where is uh, dominated energy of expansion and an- another one where is dominated by energy of contraction of the universe, we have all other movements. And restraint e- explosion on the mentality level means when we control our feelings, there is not outburst of anger, it's not uh, ill-tempered, no bitter reaction and so on. So no explos- ex- mm-hmm. explosions. And uh, in those terms, you can call the state of mind of a man its constrained explosion. Mm-hmm. And of course, uh, we have no time. Uh, mm-hmm. It requires much deeper. And, uh, mm-hmm. uh, but možda mo- bi se mogli završiti sa nekim praktičnim savjetom, uvjetno rečeno praktičnim, jer ništa ovdje nije istinski praktično, sve metafizički, ali praktično, odnosno postoje praktično te kad prihvatiš metafizičku stranu i slično. Kako primijeniti te znači, zakone za ono što ljude najviše zanima, a to je jedna jedina uvijek ista stvar, kako postići sreću u životu? Zapravo sva ljudska stremljena možemo svesti na taj jedan nazivnik, jer sreće obuhvaća puno toga što je inače odvojeno znači i u sklad sa okolišem i neku svrhu u životu i zanimljivost i tako. Na koji način se mogu primjerom tih poznavanja većih zakona povećati tu količinu sreće u životu? Uh, things are relatively uh, simple. Uh, first uh, precondition to, to gain the, the happiness is not to expect uh, uh, how other people relate to you but how you relate to other people in the environment. Second, there are people that dislike you, uh, they, they, people that prosecute you, curse you, uh, break even, 
It's the moment when you see in them the God, when you see the, the same as yourself. That's something that Christ said uh, during uh, his uh, moments of suffering. Uh, they don't know what they are doing. That's basically, that's it. Mm -hmm. So you make one uh, mental distance from, from that uh, mental position. And, of course, uh, uh, you don't need to aim in life for any kind of power, to be part of power structure, fame, to be seen and heard. The wise people are on the sidelines in this life. And uh, these people are willing to help the other. These people would only raise their voice when uh, duty calls. And these people are very close to experience something that is a cosmic glimpse. It's, I would say, the intuition in, uh, through the keyhole. And uh, that way, anyone that had a cosmic glimpse uh, sud suddenly realized this is really not a life. The real life in a spiritual zone. The real life, uh, it's something uh, uh, out of the box. Mm -hmm. And uh, anyone who follows that path, uh, it's no doubt, uh, will be in position to to experience inner peace, harmony, to be joy and blessing for anyone else. It means happiness. Mm -hmm. Daniel, hvala. I tko zna do neke sljedeće prilike, mora se reći da Martinusovih e, knjiga, odnosno tih njegovih 9000 stranica je objavljeno u serijalima knjiga gdje je svaka od ovih tema i mnoge druge su e, detaljno razrađene. Na kraju ovih 15 tema je izbor od 50-ak tema. Koje su izbor od par stotina tema? Pa tko zna, možda se opet i vidimo kada dođete u Hrvatsku. Hvala i doviđenja. Thank you and thank you for your viewers to be awaken and spiritually awaken in these late hours. Hvala i vama na pažnji. Eto, tim teškim pitanjima o postojanju nikad kraju u ljudskom životu, ali od najstarijih vremena postoje ljudi koji su im se posvetili, koji su dali neke odgovore i fascinantna je činjenica da su mnogi od tih odgovora u rasponu koji vremenski pokriva tisućljeća, a prostorno cijeli svijet, međusobno često vrlo sukladni i uvijek nam donose sliku svijeta koja je na neki način uvijek naš vlastiti odraz koji nosi sklad fizičkog i metafizičkog, koji je na neki način gubi one svoje uš, oštre materijalne bridove kojima smo umjetno podijelili svijet na stvarno i nestvarno, na materijalno, na nematerijalno, na objektivno i na subjektivno, pa na kraju i na dan i na noć koje opet ovise samo mjestu gdje se nalazimo. I kad smo već kod noći, laku noći.